History has proven time and time again that an aerial platform can become virtually immortal if its architecture allows it to be constantly reborn. One such platform is the F-15 EX Eagle II, which Boeing calls nothing less than a digital pathfinder for NGAD fighters. After all, the solutions honed on it in the field of software architecture, digital design, and integration of new systems become the basis for the sixth generation of U.S. fighters. Today, we'll be finding out whether the evolution in Eagle II is a logical end to the F-15 life cycle, or whether we are indeed witnessing the birth of a new paradigm where older aircraft will be able to compete even with the latest unmanned systems. In the early 1970s, the U.S. Air Force Command had to think seriously about losing air superiority, especially against the backdrop of the not-so-successful experience in Vietnam. The McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II, although powerful, turned out to be too heavy, insufficiently maneuverable, and critically dependent on missiles in air combat, where the decisive role was still given to the cannon duel of aircraft. An unpleasant paradox arose in that the U.S., which had technical superiority, began to lose combat aircraft and pilots. The country demanded a fundamentally new fighter. The answer was to go back to the roots and create a dedicated air superiority fighter where every element of the design would be dedicated to one goal, winning the air battle. This is how the FX program came into being, with proposals submitted by Fairchild Republic, McDonnell Douglas, and North American Rockwell. NASA was even approached with a request to act as a supporting expert structure involved in developing aerodynamic solutions and testing. Interestingly enough, FX skipped the lion's share of the usual prototype stages, moving straight into full-scale development. This saved not only time, but also avoided possible program cancellation. The Eagle's first flight took place in July of 1972, and a year later its success was cemented by the two-seat F-15B modification. The F-15 was the first aircraft in a long time that was built without compromise. It was not a fighter-bomber, an interceptor, or a carrier-based hybrid. The Eagle was a purebred hunter, created solely for dominance in the skies. With a top speed of Mach 2.5 and an advanced AN-APG-63 nose radar, the fighter could detect even low-flying enemy aircraft at a range of up to 200 miles. Moreover, this radar system was the first to use a programmable system processor which allowed for regular updates and improvements without the need to replace equipment. Since then, this principle has become one of the fundamental ones for the U.S. Air Force and Navy. It was also used in the latest F-35 Lightning II, which constantly receives software updates to improve its effectiveness on the battlefield. 